Lila, those dragons used to be Seraphim, right? Yes. They were likely Seraphim of considerable power. Most likely, he captured them and shut them away in an area where malevolence is likely to gather. Like a battlefield, for example. As a sacrifice. <sighs> a battlefield is like a microcosm of our world. All kinds of emotions spiral and whirl about in a place like that. You mean like fear and hatred? The kind of emotions that would beget dragons? Those aren't the only ones. There's also bravery. The bravery needed to stand up against the dragons. And that's something you invoked. Then I can't give up yet. Not as long as there's still hope. I'll just have to believe. Both in Sergei and in the world that humans live in. Indeed. And we will believe in you. that? Saray, look! Alicia and Lucas! As a messenger of the Kingdom of Highland, I am here to discuss terms of a truce. I would like to meet with a representative of the Rolands Imperial Army. We honestly wish we could allow you to pass, but Highland and Rolands are still officially at war. This is a decision that has to be made at the top. I'm afraid as mere rank and file, we, uh... Alicia! Lucas! Saray! <laughs> I knew you were alive! You're meeting with Rollins? I hope. It seemed like this might be the last chance for diplomacy. A Highland princess wandering all the way here with no escort? You're a trooper. What do you mean? She's got the best guard in the world. If there's a chance we can stop the war, it's a small price to pay. But we're running into some, uh, jurisdictional issues. Shepard? You're with the Platinum Knights, right? Do you think you could contact Sergei for us? Tell him that Saray's friend, Alicia, has come to visit. If it's a meeting between friends, then the Knights have no need to interfere. <sighs> I'm sorry my subordinates couldn't be more flexible with you. Not their fault. I hear they work under a very rigid captain. <laughs> you caught me there. So you're Alicia. I am Sergei, a friend of Saray. Well met. I'm Alicia. My sincere thanks for helping us the other day. Not at all. Would you like to join me for some tea? Certainly. I'm thankful for this opportunity. We won't let it go to waste. Damn peaceniks. Putting good mercenaries out of jobs. 
This calls for booze. What do you say, Shepard? Alright, that should do it for now. Yes, thank you for all your help. Ah, it's over already? The first meet and greet. I've received an invitation to Pendrago Castle. By yourself? In exchange, His Imperial Majesty of Rolands will allow me to meet for direct negotiations. Not bad for a bottom rung princess, huh? We are comrades who battled the dragon together. The Empire will have the decency to acknowledge that. Neat. Guess the peace talks are in good hands. And here I thought the war would be dragging on and on. Oh no, that was a pretty good one! I'm jealous! Is it a competition? Saray, would you be interested in coming to Pendrago with us? You're a key figure in bringing our two nations together. Thanks. But that's a dream that you should be the one to fulfill. I suppose. Best to you on your journey. You too, Alicia. Sergey. Not to mention our plastered buddy out there. I hear they're actually making progress with the peace talks. That Princess Alicia is a godsend. She sure is. If only a certain layabout would follow her example. My doggy's happy too. She hates war. You and me both, puppy. You and me both. Hey, bud. You up for a drink? Anything to get out of this armor. Departure can wait a day. Huh? But. Ah, oh, so sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, my back! I gotta lie down. Get us a nice room. Come on. Thanks, Lila, for hanging out with me. Don't mention it. I was thinking of coming up here and watching the city anyway. So this is where Saray's guidance has led us. Indeed. I'm sure he is doing much the same, watching them and thinking about how far we've come. And then Zavid too. After our long journey with the Shepherd, I imagine they're using this time to reflect on their past and, perhaps, their future. <laughs> Kinda like us, huh? Well, well. Edna coming to see me? Should I be scanning the skies for pigs? 
I want you to tell me, why were you killing Hellions? <laughs> Where'd this come from? And why now? Is it to save them? Did you make up your mind that it's something you have to do in order to save them? Like Saray did? Oh, I get it. You still haven't quite wrapped your head around the idea of death as a form of salvation. And so every time you put it into words, it's been to convince yourself. <sighs> Edna is a smart woman. Imagine right now she's busy sorting out her feelings before we face our final battle. No doubt she's consulting Zavid for guidance. He's seen more of the world than any of us, the good and the bad. You're really a good study of people. You should have been a school teacher. <laughs> oh, but Rose, you had something you wanted to ask me, didn't you? When the dragon appeared, Saray found his answer right then and there, didn't he? It was that he didn't want that battlefield to see any further killing or bloodshed. Yes, and then he immediately took the actions he deemed necessary in order to achieve that. Time flows differently for people with a vision, or so it seems to the rest of us sometimes. He's incredible. Wow, look at all those stars. Yeah. I forget who said it, that there are as many emotions as stars in the sky. I can totally see that. A metaphor for how each emotion sparkles in its own way, huh? Must have been a romantic who came up with that one. But you can also sense his insecurities about that. Can't you, Rose? Like he's constantly on edge, worrying that if he let his guard down even a little bit, he'd lose his way again. I think Saray himself might be the only one who doesn't see that. I mean, you know how little it takes for a taut string to go snap, right? Are you worried? Mm, not worried, really. Whatever happens, Whatever the future brings, I hope I can make it work somehow. No, I know I can. <laughs> so that's your answer. I guess so. But I've always been like this ever since I was a kid. I'm starting to understand why you don't generate any malevolence. Everyone not to worry and to just go do what they need to do. How? But I don't mean like, see ya, have fun, I'll be over here. I promise I'm with the rest of you guys for the long haul. <laughs> don't you think it would be better to tell that to everyone, not just me? After all, I'm sure Edna and Zabid would take no small amount of inspiration from it. I don't know, it'd be weird to walk up to them and be like, I am here, we are friends. Probably true. Sheesh, you women folks sure are complicated. But then, that's part of the appeal. Uh, are you just stupid? Yep, big old stupid head. The type who can't do anything but believe in the one way he's found to get stuff done. What makes you believe in it? I just have a need to protect the pride of my friends and fellow Seraphim. No one becomes a Hellion because they want to. But when you turn into one, you know what that means, right? So that's why I end it for them, for the sake of their pride. <laughs> and you think that saves them? Who knows? That's something they get to ponder after death, in their own personal afterlife. Huh. 
How gallant of you. So that must be what makes you so... Attractive? <laughs> Ow! Hey! Knock it off! Don't you all have one more thing you need to brace yourselves for? It'll depend on what Saray does with Mautelis after we take down Heldoth. But you know what? That's alright. I'm prepared. No matter what he decides, I'm willing to accept it. Gotta say, I think your resolve wins out over mine. I don't even know if I could do that. Just look on silently while one of our own suffers in agony. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're all in this together till the very end. <laughs> So, if Savid's quivering in fear, you'll be there to give him a gentle hug, right? Gross. <laughs> well, if my saying something is enough to cheer those two up, it might be worth it after all. It's enough to have someone to lend you a kind word. After all, that's what friends and comrades are for. But Rose, if you don't mind, may I ask what prompted you to bring all this up? Hmm. I just kind of thought you and I might have sort of been thinking about stuff along the same lines. I just wanted to tell you, you don't have to carry it all by yourself. <laughs> huh? What? Did I say something funny? The two of us really are more alike than we realize. We commit to things. We decide on what role we're going to play without really consulting with anyone else. Oh, now that you mention it... So that's why I felt like we might be sharing the same thoughts. We're the same, independent women. <laughs> Rose, I must thank you. I feel like a great load has been taken off my mind. Really? Hey, cool beans! <laughs> hmm? I'm profoundly grateful to whatever twist of fate brought us together. You really are a drama queen, Lila. Aw, Rose! <laughs> Alright, come on! We got some friends to go cheer up. <laughs> There's something I learned from this journey. Some stars you can't see. And because you can't see them, you think they're not shining. They are. It turned out that there were a lot of stars that we couldn't see from our home in Elysia. Once people notice the stars, they start to understand just how brilliantly they shine. Just like how Alicia finally got a sense of what Seraphim were truly like the first time she heard your voices. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited back then. It gave me hope that one day other humans might be able to talk to the Seraphim. But even then... You had to cut off your senses and hold your... Oh, I see. You were actually contemplating what you'll do after the last battle. Yeah. If I let myself become a vessel for Mautelis and shut off all my senses, we might be able to spread that power throughout the entire continent of Glenwood. If it works, and that's a big if, the Squire ought to be able to wield power like mine, even if she doesn't possess natural ability on par with a Shepherd. So long as you entrusted all of your senses to the Squire, it's not out of the question. And we might be able to grow the ranks of Squires who could help us. Just think of Alicia. It's arguably a more constructive approach than just waiting for another Shepherd to appear. Exactly. But... 
You understand the implications, don't you? Yeah. Until the Squires can quell enough of the Earth's malevolence to let Mautelis' natural purification take over, I would need to wait and sleep. By bonding with Mautelis, you'll be abandoned in time. It could take years. It could take centuries. And even if humans appear who can see and talk to Seraphim, there's no guarantee they'll choose the path of coexistence. I believe in them. What about your dream? Weren't you going to go off exploring ruins around the world? My dream will live on, so long as I don't forget. Very well. Thank you, Miklio. It's not so much that guys are stupid, it's just that the ladies are too smart. What's that, your philosophy? Huh. Looks like the gang's all here. I suppose you were all listening to us then? Yes. I may not be Edna, but you really are... Totally... Stupid. stupid. Let's head out. Huh? We're not waiting till morning? No farewells to Alicia or anyone? I'd like to set out under these stars tonight. So that every time I gaze up at the night sky, I can remember this very day. Guess we've got our own romantic right here. You think so? So what's up? Are we going? Yeah. To the last battle. Yeah. All right then. No doubts, no regrets. <laughs> Let's go. You're not worried about Alicia and the others? Not at all. Sergei and Lucas are with her. Our next destination is Alicia. Yeah. There should be a passage that leads to Camlon where Maltellus is waiting. What are we gonna tell Gramps? Let's just not tell him. Huh. Saray. There's no need. It's not like we'll never see him again. You're right. Let's do this.
Huh? Oh no. Miklio. Yeah. I don't feel Gramps' blessed domain. Did something happen in Elysia? You guys, let's hurry! Yeah! <sighs> so much malevolence, it's stifling. I've never seen the around that forest in such a state. It's another werewolf hallion with high combat powers. They have various jump attacks. Don't screw up out there. We won't lose to you! This much mithril. Mithril is a rare metal that's supposedly difficult to process. If you make accessories with it, then it's even more rare. Stay focused, you two! We won't lose to you! People! More like corpses. Looks like they were soldiers from Highland. So they... Someone who could wield their powers even within Zenris's domain must have led humans and Hellions into this place. Heldolf! Maybe he was trying to get the humans to destroy the seal so he could get to Camlon. I don't know about that. Remember, he's linked up with Mautelis. He could probably cut through that seal like butter. Yeah. No doubt Heldolf is already camped out at Camlon, waiting for us. This is likely just his way of tormenting me. Well then, if we waste any more time here, we're just falling into his trap. Then let's press on to Elysia. Pretty obvious what Kittybeard is after. Yes, 
Corrupting Saray with malevolence, I take it. Saray's aware of it. You can tell he's trying his best to keep it together, despite the circumstances. Ugh! Screw you, Smeldolf! No one can keep their head on straight when their friends and family are in mortal danger! Who knows what evils he may be plotting in order to cause Saray further heartache? I can hazard a few guesses. We gotta stop him, no matter what! Let's go. Darn it! A powerful Hellion like this right at Alicia's gate! Saray, yeah! Take this one out! Go for it! Beast the water! Dancing Dance 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 Yeah! Dance 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 It looks like a battlefield. They must have become Hellions, losing themselves and turning on each other. How could this happen? It's possible they simply had the same thought that Heldolf also had back in the day. Alicia and Camlon are strategically valuable, right? But the war is practically over already! Which goes to show you how much some morons don't want it to end. Yeah, but they're not the only ones responsible for this. There's massive amounts of malevolence pouring out from somewhere. Probably a sign that the seal my mother forged has been broken. Gramps, everyone, please be safe. Something's wrong. Yeah. All these bodies of Highland soldiers, but no sign of the people who live here. You don't think everyone... Please, both of you, 
Don't assume the worst. Yeah, they had to have gotten away safe and sound. You're right. Let's keep up the search. <sighs> Ow! It's a barrier. It must be something Zenra set up to prevent humans from breaking in. Gramps! It's me, Saray! Saray? Saray, you're back! Yes! Thank goodness! Saray! Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all okay. Where's Gramps? He told us to wait here. He said that he was going to go drive out the humans. He went out alone in all this malevolence? I'm sorry. We should have been there with him. But even if we had, we would only have gotten in his way. We left him out there to die. Hey, like Lila keeps saying, reflection good, regrets bad. There's no way Gramps would fall so easily. Saray. I'll go find him. Kaim, everybody, stay right here. If everyone else was safe, Gramps must be too. It's her! We can no longer tell how you will respond. And so, as you can see, we determined this to be the only remaining option available to us. You did this? Whatever plots you hatch, it doesn't matter. I already have my answer. Do you hate me then? Do you wish to plunge that sword into my breast? Where is Gramps, Simone? He went to the Gate of the Dawn of Chaos to drive away the Earth Dwellers flooding in, though it's far too late at this point to do anything. You're going the wrong way. Sorry, I forgot it's past the Prickle Boar hunting grounds. I know how you must feel, but you've got to relax.
Remember, this place was in the Celestial Record. Well, doesn't he look scary? It's probably the enshrined god of the Mount Mabinogio ruins. I couldn't tell you its name, but... This is Zenris. What? You mean Gramps? Long ago, people worshipped Zenris as the god of thunder, the deity encompassing both severity and grace. Oh, so that whole time, what we grew up playing and exploring in was Gramps' shrine. more like an angel to me. So, is it really a Hellion? It is indeed, and it possesses powerful abilities. They can reflect non-elemental attacks with great probability. Reflect back? And with great probability? But cold nature's so charming. Let's have fun.
Looks more like an angel to me. So, is it really a hellion? It is indeed. And it possesses powerful abilities. They can reflect non elemental attacks with great probability. Reflect back? 
and with great probability? For a cold nature so charming, let's have fun. to me. So, is it really a Hellion? It is indeed, and it possesses powerful abilities. They can reflect non-elemental attacks with great probability. Strong is the Earth! Behold, great is the Earth! want to become stronger as a seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> 